Recently, we have seen the cutthroat competition among the AI models. DeepSeek, our one AI agent from China, has brought such a massive disruption in the AI world that we have not seen before. Almost the same thing is happening in robotics, something quietly reshaping the future of technology. Robot partners. But what's interesting? These robots, mostly developed in China, are now becoming a significant challenge to the USA and Japan. Why is that? Stay tuned as we explore this rapidly evolving landscape. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. But to begin with, Let's understand first what are robot partners. To understand why robot partners are a challenge, we first need to define what they are. Simply put, robot partners are machines designed to work alongside or interact with humans. They can be personal assistants, factory workers, companions, or even healthcare aides. In China, companies have been pushing out robots that not only perform tasks but can communicate, learn and adapt to new environments. These aren't just tools, they're becoming integrated into daily life. As an outcome, the rise of China's robotics industry sees a massive boost in the recent period. China has invested heavily in robotics. According to a 2022 report by the International Federation of Robotics, China counted for almost 40% of the world's robot installations. Their focus? producing robots that are affordable, scalable, and innovative. Research from leading robotics experts like Professor Jin Gang Yi from Tsinghua University highlights how China's government policies are driving massive advancements in robotics. The Chinese government has made it clear they want to be the leader in AI and robotics by 2030. And it becomes a major challenge to Japan. Now, let's look at Japan. Japan has long been the global leader in robotics. Companies like Honda and SoftBank have created robots like Asimo and Pepper, famous for their ability to interact with humans. But Japan's challenge lies in cost and the pace of innovation. Chinese robots are typically cheaper and more adaptable, thanks to the country's vast manufacturing base and fast R&D. A robot partner from China can do similar tasks to Japan's, but at a fraction of the cost. And this price becomes a major challenge to the USA. Why? Let's understand. In the United States, the robotics industry is growing, but is still behind China and Japan in some areas. American robotics companies focus a lot on advanced AI, but they're often held back by high production costs and smaller scale. Chinese robots, however, don't have those barriers. With government backing, they're able to produce cheaper robots, making them more accessible not just to businesses, but also to everyday people. And let's not forget that Chinese companies are entering the global market quickly, challenging the dominance of American tech giants like Boston Dynamics. However, affordability has become a key advantage. Simply put, Affordability is a major factor in China's rise. While robots in the USA and Japan can cost tens of thousands of dollars, robots from China can cost only a fraction of that. This makes them accessible to industries and households that were previously unable to afford automation. Chinese companies like Uptech Robotics and the robotics division of Alibaba are producing robots at mass scale, driving down the cost even further. Their goal is to make robots an everyday part of life, not just something for the rich or for large companies. Of course, there is a touch of innovation and flexibility. Yes, another reason Chinese robots are a challenge is innovation. China's focus isn't just on building robots that replicate human tasks. They're developing robots that can think, learn, and adapt to new environments. For example, Chinese robots can adjust to local languages. Control China might have over the global robotics market. 
China's global ambitions in AI and robotics are clear. Their dominance could shift global economic power dynamics, leaving countries like the US and Japan to play catch up. And this is not just about robotics. It's about control over emerging technologies. Certainly, there are some labor force implications also, isn't it? Another important point is labor force disruption. In countries like the USA and Japan, where aging populations are a growing issue, robots could fill critical gaps in healthcare, elderly care, and manufacturing. But here's the catch. If China is producing robots at a lower cost, they may be the ones supplying these solutions worldwide. Japan, for example, faces a shrinking labor force. They need robots to assist their elderly population. However, they might have to rely on China for these robots, potentially giving China the upper hand in this essential market. And, of course, there is cultural and societal impact too. We cannot ignore the cultural and societal aspect. Japan has always had a unique relationship with robots, seen in the development of humanoid robots and the belief in robotics helping solve societal problems. But China has a more pragmatic view. Robots are tools for economic growth, and they're not afraid to push boundaries to make that happen. The USA, on the other hand, sees robots as part of the future of work and innovation. But with China scaling faster, these countries may find themselves on the back foot. Then, what's next? Yes, what does this mean for the future? The challenge isn't just about robots. It's about global technological leadership. The race for robotics dominance is heating up, and China has a significant lead in terms of production, affordability, and flexibility. Therefore, the USA and Japan must adapt quickly. They need to innovate faster, reduce costs, and overcome geopolitical challenges. Robotics will shape the future of many industries, from healthcare to manufacturing. The question is, who will be leading that charge? The rise of Chinese robots is a clear signal. Global power is shifting, and technological leadership is no longer solely in the hands of the USA or Japan. If they're not careful, they could lose their edge. It's a fascinating and complex topic, and we'll be sure to keep watching how this plays out. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.